<laughs> it's interesting being online like this because although we have this connection and you get to know me over time and I tell you stories from my life, I realize that paints a picture of me and oftentimes an incomplete picture. So I was curious and that's why I put out a call on Instagram uh, to ask what your assumptions about me were. Now, I honestly thought that I was gonna be able to make this a top 10 assumptions about me video, but there was a really wide variety of responses. So I'm gonna go through a bunch of them and let you know whether they're true or false. And there was one that did come up again and again and again, but I'm gonna save that one, the biggest assumption about me to the end. So be sure to stick around. You're short. That's interesting because I, uh, typically people think I'm tall. Um, I'm 5'9", uh, 175 centimeters, which is, is an average height, it's not tall, uh, uh, but I wouldn't mm -hmm. say short, so that's false. You like putting clothing on yourself. Well, uh, since I'm not a nudist, uh, that is true. That you're a clean freak. I wish I was. I, I like things neat, uh, but I'm not, uh, meticulous, kind of uh, obsessive, compulsive about mm -hmm. that. So that is false. Hell of a saxophonist. I mean, not to uh, toot my own horn, <laughs> but uh, I I'm a pretty good saxophonist. So that's true. Your haircut is at least $30. That mm -hmm. is false. I go to a barber that is just off uh, an army base and the haircut costs $14. Uh, so with tip, I spend $20 per haircut. You enjoy a good whiskey and cigar every now and then. That's true. I, although I haven't smoked a cigar in quite a while, uh, it's been cold and I don't know, I just haven't, haven't done it, but true. You hate casual clothes. Um, False. Mm. I like casual clothes. I mean, I guess this isn't casual, but I dress casually too, not just what you see on the channel. You are an introvert. I, I think so, but it's weird because I definitely prefer, I don't mind being alone. Um, I hate large groups of people, um, but I do like the company of people. So um, I'm like, kind of an introvert, but not really. Mm. Um, I'm gonna say that's false. You were a loser in high school. I, false. Mm. I wasn't like the in the popular crowd or whatever, but I wasn't like a loser. Uh, I kind of went between a bunch of different groups of people, um, but definitely I wouldn't have considered myself a loser. You have never been in a fight. We're talking about a fist fight that is true. <laughs> I like this one. You are a bad dancer. 100% true. Very opinionated, not rude, but will not suffer fools. I think if you follow the comments of the channel, you will know that that is true. Very well organized. When I put my mind to it, that is true. Uh, but it does take effort to be organized. And I think, you know, I like getting organized, but sometimes it's a struggle to kind of keep the organization up, especially when things are moving around all over the place and, you know, like that. But you should check out our folder structure for media management. It's pretty cool. Very organized. <laughs> you are not into cars that much. That's true, I'd say. I like cars, but I'm not really a car guy. A wealthy musician living in New York. Well, uh, I am a musician, uh, but I don't live in New York, mm. so false. You dig Jackie McLean. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Jackie McLean is, was a famous jazz alto saxophonist. And actually, I never liked Jackie McLean. I, so that's false. Mm. And I, I just, I didn't like Jackie McLean's playing because he played so sharp. On purpose, he says, because he's, he, he said that if he played sharp, it would make his tone cut through more, and I, I, just, I just couldn't stand listening to him. <laughs> what is this? You iron your bedding. Uh, 
it's a struggle to make the bed for me sometimes. And so that is mm. false. You have an encyclopedic knowledge of classic films and jazz. That's partially true. I would say that I know a lot about jazz, um, but I don't have the same depth of knowledge about uh, classic films. Uh, so we got to call that one a, a draw. Okay, this one's kind of funny. Um, you're a huge stoner. That's false, but mm. he says, just kidding, you seem like a really great guy. What are you saying, great guys can't be stoners? <laughs> Bad sense of humor? I, I mean, what's a good sense of humor? <laughs> I, I think I have a weird sense of humor, but I don't think that's bad, mm. so that's false. You're a good guy that is into luxury, but not pretentious about it. I would say that is definitely true. I like nice things, but I don't look down on people uh, who don't have that stuff. Underneath the sophisticated exterior, you have a goofy side. That is 100% true. Meticulous, true. British, British. <laughs> Do I sound British to you? Mm. False. You'd never wear Jordans slash Yeezys. Uh, I, I don't know what Yeezys are, so I'm going to say that's true. <laughs> I always just assumed you were a doctor of some sort, medical or otherwise. That is almost true, but it's false. Mm. I did do all of the work for the doctor of musical arts degree. However, I did not complete it. Well, I did complete the work, but I needed to, I went through the program quicker than I was supposed to. And you accrued these fee hours, which are like basically like a residency requirement. Um, and I wasn't in residence long enough to accrue those fee hours. So if I wanted to get my doctorate, I would have to pay for it. And uh, honestly, there's other things I would rather do with that money than uh, purchase a piece of paper to put on the wall. So I assume that you have Mr. Rogers <laughs> as a role model. You can almost be too nice. I just try to be nice to people, but Mr. Rogers, I love Mr. Rogers. Uh, not my one role model I would choose. So I'm going to say mm. false. <laughs> Freak? <laughs> Uh, I don't know what that means, uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm going to say mm -hmm. false. Swears more than we get to see on camera. That's false mm -hmm. because I really don't swear all that much, just like occasionally in the car if someone's driving like a moron. <laughs> you like big butts and you cannot lie. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do I do like butts. I'm more of a, a butt man than a boob man. Don't work much. Uh <laughs> that's that's funny. I mean some vibe I must give off must make you think that, but that is one hundred percent false. Mm. <laughs> you want to make more watch related content. That's an interesting assumption. I, because I love making watch videos, but I also hate making watch videos because it's, it's so uh, involved to do. Like shooting B-roll literally takes an entire day. So, mm, I don't know, kind of true, kind of false. Like I wouldn't want it to replace anything. So uh, let's just call that one a draw too. <laughs> that you might like a sneaky chocolate bar when nobody's looking. Have you been talking to Robin? <laughs> because that is true. I'm a chocolate fiend. Uh, if it's in the house, I will eat it, and I deliberately try to make sure that there is no chocolate in the house, so I don't eat it. You left the Army Field Band. That is false. I am mm. still in the Army Field Band. Uh, you may have seen one of the recent shows where I was hosting. It was a Valentine's Day show, and it, I was right here, pretty much with the same setup, only wearing my uniform. So that is false. Did I say that already? <laughs> hmm. 
you're secretly nerdy about comic books. The mm, mm. false. I don't even really like superhero movies, so yeah. You live a disciplined life and follow a consistent morning routine. Yes, true. That you're regretting selling your 5711 now. Uh, I know by the time that this comes out that I will have put out a video addressing that question, but spoiler alert, mm. false. You've never been to Poland. Uh, that is true, and I am Polish, actually. It would be cool to go there at some point. Um, if you're curious, um, Sakawa is Polish. There used to be a Z in the name. There was a Z after the C, so it was S-A-C-Z-A-W-A. And uh, according to people I've talked to, depending on where my family was from in Poland, they could either be pronounced Sachawa or Sonsaba. I think that's pretty cool, but, uh, you know, somewhere along the line we lost a Z, and I'm Sakawa. You like fruity cocktails. Mm, I mean, like, every once in a while, uh, like in the summer, maybe on vacation, but uh, typically, typically that would be, like, 99.9% .9 of the time, that mm -hmm. is false. <clears throat> no dishes can stay in the sink. Uh, <laughs> I was just going to say, like, if, if it was just me living in here, living here, uh, that would be, uh, false, but now it's true. I'm bad about it. <laughs> You're a fan of classic noir films. That's true. I've been watching actually a lot of them recently, Maltese Falcon and what's the one with Barbara Stanwyck? Oh, Double Indemnity. Yeah, that's a really good one. And what's the one with Jack Nicholson? Chinatown? Would that be considered classic? I think so. Yeah, true. You like Carpano Antica more than Cochi Vermouth de Torino. Hmm. I do like Carpano Antica, and I do like Cochi Vermouth de Torino as well. Um, they're so similar, but mm, I, I can't say that I like one another, so mm. Mm, false. You enjoy grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, I just had half of one yesterday because Robin made some tomato soup and, and she made a grilled cheese sandwich with it, but I try not to eat stuff like that ever, um, but I did just because it was really cold and felt like the thing to do. Um, so... Whether or not I enjoy grilled cheese sandwiches, I guess that would be true, though I don't eat them hardly ever. That you are a perfectionist. Yeah, what gave that away? That's true. <laughs> you wear suits to bed in a pajama fabric, of course. Um, I do, that's false. Mm. I do not wear suits to bed, though I do I do wear pajamas to bed. I, I did invest in a nice uh, silk pair from Bud in London and they're awesome. You are very professional on camera. Well, thank you. Uh, but when you are alone with Robin, you like to be babied. Yeah, true, especially when I'm sick. <laughs> that you wear velvet loafers to bed. No. That's false. Mm -hmm. I don't wear velvet loafers to bed. I don't wear socks in bed either. Um, apparently that's a sign of serial killers, I'm told. <laughs> but uh, I, I do like velvet slippers, though typically uh, what I'm wearing around the house are not velvet slippers, but they're, uh, well, right now I have on these uh, Belgian shoes and they're, they're wool. Coming from a fellow Libra, I assume you're very particular. You really know me, and that is true. <laughs> you love good music. Yes, that's true. You decide who to trust based on their use of Rob in their name. Rob, is photographer, Robin, wife. Well, you know, we've got other people on the team. Uh, we've got Ian and Rachel and Tony as well, so that's going to make that mm. one false. You don't like sports. That is false. Mm. I grew up playing sports. I played baseball. I played tennis. I bowled. Fun fact, I was the New York State junior bowling champion 
1995. That's right. Uh, and I bowled one 300 game. And I also threw a no-hitter when I was 12 years old in Little League. So I do like sports a lot. I particularly like baseball. I'm a Red Sox fan. I don't really follow basketball or football um, I, or soccer. Um, or I guess some of you call that football. I don't follow American football or your football. Um, <laughs> but And I, I still do really like cycling. I love watching cycling, even though I don't race anymore. Brown is your favorite color. Um, it's one of them. I don't know. It's like a real close toss-up between, yeah, yeah, I guess maybe it is. So that's true. <laughs> uh, you wear Crocs when no one can see it. You know, funny thing about that, because uh, I have a real, uh, I have like this allergic reaction to Crocs. They make me growl, and I don't like them at all. Mm. False. <laughs> you have about 600 suits with matching shoes. Uh, last count, I was at about 500 or something. No, no, I don't have that many suits. Uh, maybe like 40 or 50, all not with matching sh matching shoes, so that is false. You're never content. Always strive to do and be better than before. That's true. Always pushing forward and wanting to improve and, 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 and take it to the next level. Obsessed with details. True. Young Brian wasn't into style. That is false. Mm. I always, I was always into it. I liked it. I just didn't know how to do it back then necessarily. So, uh, yeah. You don't understand irony. Uh, dude, I am Gen X. So irony is like in my body, my being. Mm. So <laughs> false. You're an only child. True. And I know the follow-up question will be, do you ever wish you had like a brother or sister? And the answer is no. <laughs> you have a hot wife. I mean, duh. True. Okay, so the biggest assumption, here we are, the biggest assumption about me is that I, uh, a variation on a theme here is that I either come from money, uh, affluent family, uh, that I'm, wealthy. And, you know, I was talking with Robin about this and, you know, it's, I wouldn't say like when I think of, of like wealthy people and fabulously wealthy people, um, I would say that that is false. Mm. Like we're very lucky. Uh, I, Robin has a full-time job. I have a full-time job in addition to, uh, doing he spoke style, but I didn't. My family wasn't wasn't wealthy. We my my father <clears throat> was very good about saving money, and and we always had what we needed. Um, so it wasn't like I came from affluence, and and like we had all these like fancy cars and stuff like that. No, like I lived in like a middle class suburban neighborhood, and you know didn't go to private school, none of that kind of stuff. Um, so and now you know we're Robin and I are lucky to be very. Uh, comfortable and you know money is you know w w always would be better to have more right but you know we're it's not something we have to worry about but I wouldn't necessarily say that we are like fabulously wealthy and and things like that I do get to do a lot of things that are you know uh, from he spoke style I've gotten to dr drive like these crazy cars and stuff like that but that's like not my life um, it's fun to be able to do that, but <clears throat> that's not, um, like parked in my garage right now. I have like a, a small little, my little car that I drive around in the, <laughs> in the summer is, in, is an MG midget. It's not like a, an old Mercedes Gullwing or something like that. So, uh, that, that I've come from a wealthy family or that we are just like stinking, filthy rich. That's false. So this was really fun to do. And honestly, I didn't really think about how to wrap up this video. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of leave it there. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. And I hope that answered all of your questions.